Hello, welcome to my November wrap-up. All the books I read in November. I read nine books. The first book I read was Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, this was a fantasy about two sisters who are witches, and one of them is murdered, and the other one swears to stop at nothing to get revenge. I thought it was very quick paced and quite a fun read, and I can't wait to read the sequel and find out what happens next. Book number two was Creativity by John Cleese. This is a non-fiction book about how to change your way of thinking to have new and fresh um, ideas in your life or career. John's a funny guy, so it made me giggle at times, and I also would like to read his autobiography. Number three was Broken Flower by V.C. Andrews. This was a contemporary about a girl going through precocious puberty, um, and her parents are in an accident, and she has to live with her mean grandmother. Um, there's not much really plot in this, it's just like a lot of dramatics, and it is very quick read. Book number four was The Chrysalids by John Winham. Um, this was a fantasy about a boy and his friends who are telepathic, and they escape from their village where they'll be persecuted if they stay. Um, I read this in school and it's still a favorite. And this says a lot about not treating people badly just because they're different. Book number uh, five was Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Um, this is a fantasy about a girl taken by a wizard as payment b um, for protecting her village. But then it turns out that the girl is a witch and she works with the wizard to save her people from the evil woods. Um, this started out good, but it kind of lost interest um, towards the middle. Book number six was Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Venison. This was a contemporary about a teen girl um, told through her journal entries. And that was very funny, I definitely laughed a lot, and it reminded me of The Princess Diaries, um, like a you know, silly teenage girl kind of thing. Um, book number seven was Helpless by Barbara Gowdy. This was a thriller about a little girl who gets kidnapped and the race to find her, and I thought it was quick based and suspenseful. Book number eight was Breathing Fire by Sarah uh, Siang. Um, this is a contemporary about a foster teen who runs away and joins a busking team. Um, I thought it was a super quick read and it had a happy ending. And book number nine was Masquerade by Sarita Leon. Um, this was a historical romance about two people who meet at a masked ball. Well, they find out each other's identity and fall in love. Um, and I thought it was kind of repetitive and slow paced. So those are the nine books I read in November. Let me know what you read in November. And I'll see you next month.